Hi, I'm Margaret, and welcome to Garden School. Today, we're going to plant some bulbs for spring. Now, it is definitely fall and getting pretty close to winter with some winter temperatures, but there's still time to plant those bulbs to see for spring. And we're going to do daffodils today. Let's go and do it. Well, I picked out a little area here that's next to my sidewalk. And um, there's some heathers here and some other little things that come up and go. Um, but in the early spring, it's going to be pretty empty. And so this is where I'm going to put some clusters of daffodils. Now, I ended up buying a couple of bags of daffodils, and they happen to be 50% off. I think that's because it's a little late, perhaps, but there's still time. Now, something I'm going to check in these bulbs is to see, are they soft? This one happens to be a little bit soft. I'm not going to... I'm not going to plant that one. It's probably not going to make it. So we're just going to discard that. The other ones, I'll just, you know, take a look at, see if everything looks good. Now, if you have one that has uh, two, you know, this is a little bulbless that started off here. Th this one will have two um, flowering stems. That's my understanding. So we'll try that out. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm not going to plant in a group less than five bulbs. In fact, I might go with like seven to nine, you know, bulbs per cluster. That way, they'll be kind of big, you know, large, and and not just this single little thing. So I'm going to dig my holes, and then I'll, I'll show you what we do next. Now, a general rule for planting spring bulbs is to plant uh, to make your hole about three times as deep as your bulb is high. So a two inch bulb, you know, I'm gonna to wanna to make it about six inches deep. Um, I'm trying to do that and that's the general rule. So if you have a smaller bulb like a grape hyacinth or crocus, you're gonna to wanna to plant that accordingly. I've chosen to add some bone meal. You can also add some bulb food. I just happen to have bone meal. Now, if you have critters that might be digging around here, Probably not bone meal. That will attract them. Bulb food, bulb fertilizer should be good. And then I'll just mix that in a little bit. And you can see some of these holes are kind of all combined a little bit. And they're not distinct holes. That's okay. I'm going to just fit a different number of bulbs in here. And um, get it down a little bit deeper. And now this soil is very well drained, so that's gonna be great. If you have soil that does not drain, bulbs will not do as well. Just something to consider. Now I've got my bulbs in, in this grouping, and I'm just going to start to fill in with the dirt. So when you are planting your bulb, you're going to want to look for the, the pointy tip. That's the part that goes up. The bottom here, that's where the roots are going to be forming. And that's what's going to be happening now as we're planting them in the fall and into the early winter. Before the soil gets too, too cold, they're going to be developing roots, which will help that bulb bloom in the spring. So point up. Now, if you have one and you really can't tell which is the pointy end for some reason, I'm looking for one and I I can't find one that's really qualifies as that. I guess the best way is to just do it sideways because it will find its way up toward the light. So as you're looking um, to plant some daffodils, you're going to find a lot of different beautiful varieties. Bigger bulbs will give you bigger 
flowers typically although there are some varieties that are just the little teeny tiny ones that are so cute the tata tates and the other ones and then there are the the uh, gorgeous white ones and with some pinkish salmon color on them the bicolors and even the multi-flower one so you'll find some little directions on the back of your little packet where you buy your bulbs probably just follow those and hope for spring we can hardly wait anyway there's always more to learn in the garden Bye-bye.